Hello! In this video tutorial, you will learn how to get more value from your existing LUTs. Surely many of you have a large collection of LUTs, and not all of them are created by the 3D LUT creator. Even Photoshop and DaVinci have additional LUTs that you can use. Unfortunately, these LUTs often have enhanced contrast, or are even built for logarithmic data, so we seldom use them as they are. In this video, I'll show you how to use 3D LUT Creator to split the LUT into two or even three parts, RGB Curve, Master Curve, and HSL Correction. Let's see how they differ. There are two main types of color correction, curves, usually the Master Curve and RGB Curves, and HSL Correction, which are used to correct the hue, saturation, and luminance. But only in RGB curves is it possible to change the color of neutrals. Only if the red, green, and blue curves coincide, the grayscale shades stay neutral. The HSL correction that you can find in Photoshop, DaVinci, and other editors in most cases does not allow you to change the color of neutrals, but it only affects the colors that have at least some saturation. If I open the camera raw in Photoshop, then we can classify most of the tools as either one type of correction or another. White balance is the curves. Exposure, contrast, whites and blacks also can be replaced by the curves. Vibrance and saturation are HSL correction. Curves are curves. HSL tools are HSL correction. Split toning is the curves. Camera calibration can belong to HSL because it doesn't change the color of neutrals. I hope the difference between curves and HSL is clear. They are two basic kinds of corrections, and they are not interchangeable. Let's move on to the practice. 3D LUT Creator allows you to load the external LUTs. I open Photoshop LUTs folder and load some LUTs. In order to apply the LUT, I need to decide whether the LUT is used as the first adjustment or the last. Let's look through them. As you can see, in most cases, they affect the contrast and the color. What should I do if I like this color, but I don't need to increase the contrast so much? The first thing that comes to my mind is to reduce the luminance in the master section. We get this version. Here is the before, that is the after. But now there is a better way to adjust your LUTs. As I said before, any color correction can be decomposed into two basic corrections, HSL and curves. And as the effect of curves is clearly seen in neutral colors, the 3D LUT creator can analyze the neutral colors of the LUT and build the curves with the same effect. I will open the menu, Edit, External LUT, Extract Curve from External LUT. The image doesn't change. Let me cancel this action in the history. Here is the before using this function. That is the after. The picture doesn't change, but we can see that external LUTs preview changes. And the curves turn on. Let's open the curves tab. There is the curve from the external LUT. LUT is changed so that the curves were removed from it. Thus, the new external LUT plus the curves that were removed from it is equal to the original external LUT. What does it give? Now we have the curves that can be edited separately and the HSL correction, which are stored in the external LUT. I can turn off the curves. Here is the before and after. We see how the HSL correction of the LUT mutes the colors, but the contrast is not added. You can also do the opposite. Only turn on the curves and turn off the external LUT. Perhaps this option will also come in handy. Now let's look at the curves. Here we see that a warm shade is added to the shadows and a green shade is added to the lights. If we disable the curves, we disable the split toning. Suppose that I don't need the contrast, but I would like to keep only the split toning. There is a button to extract the master curve from the RGB curves. If I click it, then the image doesn't change. 
but the curves change. I have a master curve, which contains the overall contrast. The color corrections are in the RGB curves only. Now I can remove the contrast separately and enable or disable the split toning. I can even increase it. And I have a separate LUT with HSL corrections which doesn't affect the contrast and affects only the individual colors. I can also change its effect. For example, I can increase it. It turns out to have interesting toning. If I add it to the original LUT, I would get an over-contrasted image. Let's try to do it in the second version. I switch to version 2. Load the same LUT, but don't extract the curves. I will try to increase its effect. And we get such an overdone picture. Let's go back to the first version. So now you know how to split the LUT into pieces and work with each of them separately. Let's try the other LUT. Let it be another picture. I will load the LUT from DaVinci. I'll open a LUTs folder and open one of the film LUTs in Rec 709 color space. If I plug it in, I get a very strong contrast due to the fact that the LUT is calculated for logarithmic images. In other words, it converts the logarithmic profile to the gamma profile, so it contains a strong contrast curve. Let's try to extract the curve as we did before. Here is the curve. Let's try to turn it off. The result is not pretty. There are areas with posterization. If I do not turn off these curves, we get the same result as it was. Why did it happen? After splitting the LUT on the HSL and the curves, it turns out that HSL correction goes first and then the curves go. But the LUT is designed for the log profile. So inside of the LUT, the curves go first and only then color correction is applied. Therefore, it needs to extract the curves the other way. Let's reset all changes, reload the LUT, and put it at end. That is, the curves will go first before the LUT. Now, if I click Edit, External LUT, Extract Curve from External LUT, then I get the same curves, but the HSL correction will be different because it is designed to work with colors after the curves are applied. Let's turn off the curves and get this color correction. Here is what the HSL part of the slut does, the before and the after. Let us again look at the curves. The warm shade is added to the lights and cold shade to the shadows. Let's divide the RGB curves to the master curve and split toning and turn off the master curve. We got split toning in its pure form which adds blue to the shadows and red to the lights. We managed to isolate the color characteristics of the LUT, despite the fact that it has been designed only for log data. If we tried to do this by resetting luminance in the master section, we would have received just such a picture. All the lights and shadows would be discolored because after using the LUT, they become black and white and do not have saturation. Therefore, only extraction and turning off the master curve allows us to apply this LUT to an ordinary image. Now you can download from the internet a variety of free LUTs and don't worry about whether they are for your camera or not. You can always remove the master curve and keep only what you need. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to the channel Put likes. Goodbye.